Hello again, guys. I'm CCP Rides here with uh, Sir Squeebles, and we're about to watch Phyllis Constance fight Almost Awesome in the Losers Bracket of the Alliance Tournament. And what do we have on the field? Uh, for Fidelis, we have four, well, sorry, two Caracals and two Cerberi, um, two Myrmidons and a Rattlesnake as their DPS with only three Ishkurs as support. And then on the part of Almost Awesome, they're running a Guardian, two VNIs, a Vindicator, and an Armageddon. Uh, three Kitsunes, a Tristan, and two Tyrannus. So sort of unconventional setups from both, more of a missile-heavy, um, hopefully kitey team from Fidelis, and then... Uh, it's going to be a an urgent chase, I think, on the part of Almost Awesome. Yeah, definitely some strange choices here. We were wondering if the uh, Guardian was there for cap transfer with the battleships, but the Almost Awesome battleships have actually come in at zero on the beacon. I don't know if you guys have gotten a view of that yet, but uh, the rest of the Almost Awesome team back at 50, um, putting uh, the battleships in kind of a weird situation, actually, since the angle has it so that uh, Fidelis Constance can actually cut to the side of the battleships and get to the rest of the Almost Awesome team if they want. But... Uh, here we go. I'll have to see uh, how this goes down. Kitsune is trying to get jams across those services, which should work really well since uh, they'll just turn their DPS off. Um, and an Ishkar already going down for Fidel's Constance. But in the same time, a Kitsune did die. Um, out in the almost awesome blob, I do see Imperial Navy Curators dropped, which are not designed to do damage. They're just to let your enemy know that you don't have the skills for T2 sentries. But a second Kitsune going into low shields and now armor and uh, I'm sure he's not going to last long. Meanwhile, Charles Gray fighting back from low structure. Come on, Charles. Come on. <laughs> uh, and in the meantime, this uh, Vindicator from the Almost Awesome side has just powered straight across the field for this Rattlesnake. He's gotten a tackle on the Rattlesnake and his uh, got his blasters trained on that. So ignoring the support war going on in the background and going straight after that battleship uh, with nobody really stopping him. You can see now tackle applied to the Vindicator. I'll have to see if the Guardian can get in range for support. Another Katsune down for almost awesome. And no time for a moment of silence for Charles as Sinara <laughs> in the Ishkar is also low armor about to go into structure. Meanwhile, Mystic in the Rattlesnake is really taking some damage. Uh, he's already half shields. They have no logistics on this team, as, as I think you've mentioned. Um, he needs to start shield boosting scary amounts uh, for us to be at all confident because he's less than half shields. He's like a third shields and dropping. Meanwhile, the Vindicator of Tarin on the almost awesome team is uh, two thirds armor. He's definitely taking damage, but he's going to at least trade for this Rattlesnake. And after that DPS is gone, I imagine he will go on an absolute rampage before he goes down. Yeah, this was really strange. Like you say, uh, he needs to be boosting, and he's actually not. I mean, I've been zoomed in there for a while. You guys are too. He's not running a booster. He went from uh, 100, 100 HP to zero without ever running any kind of tank at all, and like you said, no logistics to support him. So uh, nice job by the Vindicator there going after the really vulnerable uh, Rattlesnake, even though you wouldn't necessarily expect it to be. Vindicator is getting low, but you can see the Guardian's gotten in range to get reps on him, so he may be just fine now that that Rattlesnake's off the field. Another Kitsune down for almost awesome, though. Yeah, and the, the Vindy is stabilizing, and, and quite frankly, it won't matter even if he does die at this juncture. He's done his job in spades. He has now taken out the Rattlesnake. He's taken out one of the Myrmidons. Uh, it looks like Kari Trace and a Cerberus has taken a lot of damage. He's not tackled, though, so he's probably going to make it out. Um, Tarin pulling back armor. What a hero. Uh, meanwhile, nothing tackled enough for DPS to apply. Um, Fidelis Constance is down to two care or sorry. Three Cerberi uh, and one Caracal. The skinned Caracal, it's throwing me off. Uh, huh. A Myrmidon and an Ishker, and that Myrmidon now is is getting hammered, and he will not last very long. Um, this Kaidi missile DPS for Fidelis might be able to survive a little while longer, but uh, if this Guardian pilot is, is paying any attention whatsoever, um, this should be a pretty strong victory for Almost Awesome. Pretty surprising that Myrmidon goes down now, but it seems like the Almost Awesome Vindicator didn't apply Tackle until almost the very end. I'm not really sure why. Must be really fun to fly a Vindicator in a match like this where you're really not uh, under any kind of pressure at all. Usually battleships, especially single ones like this, get abused by Ewar really badly, either by getting tackled away from the fight or getting damps on them or something. But he's just kind of had free reign to do whatever he wants, and it's worked out really well for Almost Awesome. Him basically by himself taking out uh, those three core ships at the top of the Fidelis Constance team. Um, Still a lot of damage going on to that VNI for Almost Awesome, but the reps from the Guardian keeping him up and uh, trading back a Caracol now won't be much longer uh, for Fidel's Constance, I think. We've seen several teams field uh, DPS setups that rely on missiles in the way of Cerberus, Orthrus, that sort of a thing. Um, I don't think really have any or any of them have really been all that successful. They're definitely good at killing frigates if you fit RLML. They have great range if you fit heavy missiles. 
Um, but it doesn't seem like they either have enough DPS to punch through substantial tanks, uh, or it doesn't seem like they can get in on the frigate wing early enough to, to make the RLML choice significant. Um, so I'm not sure I really am, am much of a fan of, of Caracol, Cerberus, Orthrus setups in this context. At least not a full team. Yeah, I'm with you. It seems like, um, like you say, they're, they're really good at killing support. The Kitsunes went down fairly early in this fight, but you give up so many points in your comp that you end up with, like in this match, a fairly weak, uh, heavy core that really can't compete against uh, the opposition's usually heavy drone flights or other battleships. Uh, and, and just like what happened here, you know, you end up just outmatched in that sense. And then by the time um, you finish killing support, the rest of your team is dead. And then the Cerberuses are just really bad against the rest of the, the main ships in the composition that you're against. So um, almost awesome doing a great job here. A Vindicator pilot having a lot of fun in that match. And uh, that'll do it for this one. We'll be back in just a few with uh, Red Alliance versus Monkeys with Guns.